Today, I will show you how to make an explosion in cartoon style. The project is implemented on Bledner 3.2. The tutorial consists of three main parts, shaping the explosion, materials for the explosion, and animating. Let's go to the first part, shaping the explosion. I use subdivision surface to subdivide the mesh. Create convex areas with displace. The shape is indented, I will change strength to a negative value to invert its shape. Another displace to create smaller protrusions distributed over the surface of previous large protrusions. Create two more empty objects to be coordinate objects for the two displace modifiers. This will come in handy for animating the explosion. So the shape is done. I created a flat surface for the ground. Now go to shading to create the material for the explosion. Here I use cycles because it looks better. You can also use EV rendering, just a little change in the material. I turned off all the lights because there was light from the explosion. Light comes from emission. Fresnel will render colors based on the angle between the surface normal and the viewing direction. You should memorize it to use when needed. I use color ramp to assign colors. There is a problem, that the part that comes into contact with the ground is light in color, it is not really true. I will make this fire area darker. I use gradient texture to do this. Once you have enabled Node Wrangler, you need to press Ctrl T to add two coordinate and mapping panels. I rotated it along the Y axis at an angle of 90 degrees to. Now use Mix RGB to combine with the texture created earlier. It looks fine. Now I will simulate when the explosion is slowly dissipating. I used a mix shader to combine the part one just created and a transparent. And then used a noise texture to control the combination.
so I just need to adjust the color ramp to make the explosion fade away. I named this node dissolution, and when you need to set the keyframe, there's no need to go into the shader editor, just open the material properties tab and find its name. Now let's move on to animating the explosion. The explosion takes place in 150 frames. Set the keyframes to let the explosion grow bigger for the duration. From the 110th frame we'll start the process of dissolving. Adjust the slider until the explosion starts to dissipate, then set the master key. Please note don't click here, I tried in my blender immediately quit without any warning, maybe you don't but I don't know why. At the 145th frame, it fades out and at the 150th frame, everything disappears. Talking a bit about the shape of the explosion, you can level it up high to make the explosion more detailed or add a new subdivision surface below for a smoother explosion, it's up to you. The guide to this is the end. Hope it is useful to you. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Bye and see you soon.